In this video, we're going to be breaking down the six most broken agents in Valorant history. You see, with the many buffs and nerfs most agents have received, some agents were absolutely busted for their time. And if they were in that state today, they would be the most powerful agents in the game. But my question of the day is, what do you think is the most powerful agent state of all time? Let me know why down below. Now, the first agent that we got to talk about is Killjoy, which at one point was just giga broken. And she's very strong now, but back in the day, she was an absolute nightmare. And this is for several reasons. Number one, while her turret only slows you 29.5% today, back then, it slowed you for 72.5% instead. This means it slowed you more than double than it does right now. And honestly, right now, it still feels a bit too slow. It also has global range, meaning that it never deactivated activated regardless of where Killjoy rotated on the map, and on top of that, it persisted after Killjoy died, so you could even lock down an area from the grave. In addition to that, most of her abilities were both cheaper and did more damage, but the last thing, specifically her Nano Swarm, could be put inside specific walls. You could put it in the walls of certain areas around the plant zone, and it made it really hard to destroy, and it would often be invisible. So yeah, good luck clearing swarms you just can't even see. But Killjoy doesn't hold a candle to the next agent. Reyna is absolutely disgusting if you know how to play her, and that's why we've gone ahead and made the perfect course that you could literally master Reyna in minutes. Our goal was to teach players as fast as possible what they need to know about Reyna to start carrying their matches. Most players probably pick up Reyna and immediately find it difficult to have an impact if they can't aim. Well, with our course, we simplify the aiming process for you so that you could skip the part where you look like this and get to the part where you look like this. Don't just take our word for it, though. We offer a five division rank up guarantee. So if you don't climb, you don't pay. Check it out using the link in the description below. And the next agent that we got to talk about is definitely Raze. And Raze had a lot going for her on launch. First off, you didn't get your paint shells back when you got two kills instead they just gave you two paint shells right off the bat and you could really just abuse the hell out of this by spamming a choke double time with two paint shells that spread farther and did more damage in addition to that your satchels also had a further radius and they did more damage as well while at the same time only being a hundred freaking credits in addition to that, you needed less ult points to get your ultimate, and really, Raze was an absolute menace to play against, even back in the early stages of Valorant. And if we think about how much better Raze players have gotten with the advanced movement, with the understanding of how to push the bounds on the character, I really do think that if you took this version of Raze and you put her in the existing game right now, she would just completely destroy the meta. I mean, Raze is already very powerful, even in the state she is right now, and the old Raze is just so much more more powerful i can't even imagine how frustrating it would be to get double paint shelled if you're hiding in a corner one goes on the left of you one goes on the right of you and then a raise just flies in and finishes you off definitely very frustrating and a very very strong agent in history now the next character that we got to talk about is even more powerful than raise was and this was astra and astra was completely broken on her release and some might even say she's the most broken agent on this list but for that i'm gonna let you answer in the comments down below now astra had a lot going for her both just strong and completely imbalanced first off abilities like gravity well and nova pulse they only had like 12 second cooldowns when they initially got nerfed all the way to 25 right off the bat so they got them so often and you could use them multiple times in any given even half of a round which was just crazy and in addition to that, the broken part is you could actually place a star and it would have no delay between the time you placed it and the time it was active. So the second the round started, you could place and activate, leading to all sorts of combos. Now there's a 1.4 second delay between dropping one and using one. And this also makes it so Astra is a lot more difficult to set up in the moment. But back in the day, you could place and activate very, very quickly, meaning that if you knew where someone was, you could basically just kill them with Nova Pulse. You just shut them down push them, kill them, and it was super, super free. In addition to that, the recall cooldown was only eight freaking seconds, and your granted signature charges was two automatically. Astra also just got even more nerfs after this, and more nerfs, and more nerfs, and more nerfs, but release Astra was just unlike anything else, completely giga busted, one of the most picked characters on release, and super broken, even when players didn't fully understand how to use the character, she was already broken. I can only imagine how strong she was 
would be if you gave players more time to really get the feel for her but yeah it was just insane and i definitely don't want anything like that back in the game then the next agent that we got to talk about was a very strong agent with almost a hundred percent pick rate back in beta and that was sage now while these are not all the changes that happened to sage these are the things that were better about sage her abilities were cheaper she could self-heal for the full amount and it had a much less cooldown so you could do it more often her slow orb was wider in radius her slow orb costs less her wall was far cheaper far harder to break and it didn't have a fortifying section so it was just max hp right off the bat now you can buy all this with the fact that sage just didn't have a lot of competition she was one of the few sentinels in the game at the time only her and cypher were out in the game in the sentinel role and it's actually interesting because i think that all these things make her giga busted especially in ranked and if you brought beta sage back now i don't necessarily think she would take over the game but she would be super super strong and oppressive especially in ranked play she definitely does have more competition for these spots now but just the numbers on these are just so crazy back in the old days that even though i don't think sage matches a lot of maps these days like there are certain maps that just don't really favor her kit it just doesn't matter she is so strong that i can't imagine her not seeing play and remember you could be a lot more flexible in your play style being like an aggro sage at least that's how some people played her because you could just heal yourself over and over and over again and now you just can't do that in the same way at all less uptime over overall on the heal and it does a lot less healing on yourself now, the next character we got to talk about is my personal pick for the most broken agent period and i want to hear if you agree or disagree with me in the comments down below and that's jet now hear me out jet just got a major nerf but even before that there have been multiple huge nerfs that have impacted jet and i don't even think they're keeping her down permanently but really jet was just insanely busted at launch and it's funny because people thought she was actually the weakest agent which it shows how much we all didn't understand jet now first off if you right clicked with your knives you got them back so you could kill with your right click and get them back meaning that if you just barrel stuff people over and over again right click right click right click you just kept on getting it back over and over and over again it wasn't a one and done like it is today and there was still a 3x headshot multiplier on that right click which is now 2x meaning that if you just gamble right click people like chest level you would kill them like the majority of the time get it back and do it again and again and again you could even do this from mid-range which was crazy in addition to that you had an insta dash you didn't have to proc the dash you just got to dash if you shot you dashed and this was just so incredibly broken oftentimes people just use this to pub stomp people just take shots and dash away but people didn't even see the potential back then for dashing to take space on site which is like what jet is used for these days but if people knew what they knew now with jet back then it would just be over it would be wraps for everybody on top of that jet had a seven second freaking smoke and she had three of them you heard me right three freaking smokes at seven seconds she's just a controller i mean just a controller with the best entry with the best dueling capability with like the most broken ult come on six ult points was all you need to get your ult by the way that much more powerful of an ult and only six ult points oh did i mention that smokes were only 100 credits back then on jet that's just ridiculous like jet was just absurd and it kind of makes you wonder what if you could go back in time and you know all the stuff you know now about how broken jet was and how broken running and gunning with the stinger was and the bucky and uh just like like so much it would be insane but we're moving on to number one and i think this is only right to put this agent in number one because he has proved himself to be the most dominant in the most recent meta and yeah i still think that he would have very high impact if jet and him were you know in their fully formed state they would probably just both be picked maxed out pick rate in every comp and it's chamber come on it's chamber and there's a lot going for chamber i mean he had two trips that were really good he could teleport pretty much across the map and get out instantaneously and this allowed him to just completely lock down sites all by himself and he also just had only 100 credits that he needed to get bullets he had a very fast fire rate with his ultimate he had only seven ult points that he needed to get his ultimate i mean we all have lived through chamber meta that's relatively recent while these other ones can be kind of a distant memory chamber was just the other day i mean it feels like that and it was dominant like it was so dominant and it would still be dominant if you brought chamber back to that state he would just be incredible
And if I were to give you my specific top three, I would probably give it to Jet, then Chamber, then Astra. But I could see that list being mixed around a little bit. I do want to pass the question off to you. Which of these agents do you think are the most busted of all time? And is there any agents that I missed? I know I missed a few, but I just wanted to talk about the six biggest ones. But climbing in ranked has never been easier with skillcap.com. Right now, we have brand new courses on Jet, Reyna, Brimstone, Harbor, and more. So if you really want to improve yourself very very, very quickly and climb the ladder on any of these agents and more check out skill capped in the links down below